Hey y'all, it's Dawn again coming at you from my desk here in Texas. I have another video I, I want to do for you today. Um, this is something Father gave me a dream about. It was for me, but I know it will minister to you as well. Three months ago, Father gave me a dream where I was standing in our backyard. You now we have about, I don't know, three-fourths of an acre. It's not a small backyard, but it's not gigantic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was standing in the backyard in my dream, figuring out the layout of our garden. We had to just disassemble everything because of everything that happened with my husband, having five surgeries in one year, and I just couldn't handle everything by myself. So we had a crew come in and just take everything down and just start from scratch. Well, in this dream, I was standing in the backyard configuring out where we were going to put everything. Also knowing in the back of my mind that we are going to be called to leave. We've got a, a guest appearance over here, Miss Maggie Bell. Hello, Maggie. Anyway, Miss Maggie Bell. Um, so as I was in the backyard figuring out the layout of our upcoming garden and fruit trees and knowing that we're going to be called to leave, uh, as Father said, you'll be helping your community with the greater exodus, trying to see how I can make it movable um, this time. You know, fruit trees and gigantic pots that we could just load up on a trailer and stuff like that. So, in this dream, I'm figuring this out, and I hear Father loud and clear, and he says, Save room for wheat and corn. Save room for wheat and corn. And this was three months ago, y'all. Uh, January, around January, <clears throat> Jan end of January, beginning of February, and I said, save room for wheat and corn. I better start um, researching what's going on with wheat and corn. Well, come to find out, UK Ukraine and Russia and China have a lot to do with wheat and corn. And I said, okay, Father, now I understand. I I didn't need to know why. I was just curious. I was still going to be obedient, but I was really curious about why he said that. So in my research and studying about wheat, you don't need a gigantic field to grow a bunch of wheat. A thousand square feet of wheat will yield about one bushel of wheat of wheat berries and one bushel of wheat berries yields 95 loaves of bread and with our sun ovens we will be able to cook bread for people who need it so just a thousand square feet of uh, of a backyard growing wheat spring wheat or fall wheat winter wheat we'll be able to cook a lot of bread for a lot of people in our sun ovens so he was showing me this so we had to reconfigure the backyard of what we were originally going to do, pick up some stuff, disassemble some stuff that we had already put down, and saving room for wheat and corn to be obedient. And here's what Father has blessed us with now. My husband and I have been looking for property for years. And then Father put on my spirit that we were possibly going to inherit his uncle's beef cattle. And we were looking and in going into the, you know, the beef cattle industry. Well, sure enough, my husband got the call um, from his uncle saying, hey, when I pass, you know, I, I want you to take these cattle. And, so, and my husband said, you know, well, we're already looking at property. We need to figure out, you know, depending on which county, how many head of cattle you can have per acre. So we were looking and looking and looking and doors kept closing. We were looking for years. Our poor realtor, he, bless his heart, he gets an A for effort. He get oh my gosh, he was just so patient. Doors just kept closing. Well, then we get a call from my husband's uncle again. And he said, did y'all find any property up there to take the cattle? And we said, no, sir, we haven't yet. He said, well, stop looking. I'm just going to give you some acreage. And my sonny said, how much are you asking for it? And he said, nothing. I'm just going to give you the land. So we are in awe that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel is opening up the door for land for us. 
The first parcel is going to be 20 acres of prime um, pasture land, and it has three water sources on it. The first parcel is 20 acres. So, since the cattle isn't ours yet, and the acreage is, we have decided to go ahead and allow somebody to move to that property for free and start growing wheat and corn for the people. So this is a huge, huge opportunity to bless a lot of people, to bless a lot of people. So 20 acres, <clears throat> I don't know how many bushels that would be. I don't know how many loaves of bread that would be. But we're going to learn how to thresh. We're going to learn how to separate the wheat and the chaff. We're going to learn how to grind our wheat. And we're going to make bread for the people. And then we'll, make, we'll grow corn as well. So anyway, guys, I, I hope you're encouraged by this. If this is, you know, put a little catch in your spirit that maybe those who have space, who, knows, who know how to garden, you don't need much space to grow corn. You don't need much space to grow wheat. Think about it. Figure out a place to do it. Uh, contact some friends and, and go in together with, uh, with growing wheat and corn, uh, among a lot of other things that you would eat in season. Um, but think about this, guys. If the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel tells me beforehand to save room for wheat and corn to grow for ourselves and to bless others with, that goes for y'all too. If you have the capability to do that, if you have the desire to do that, if you see the writing on the wall, save room for wheat and corn, you gardeners and farmers. Do what you can with what you have, and the Father will bless it. Do it out of obedience, not fear. So anyway, guys, keep us in your prayers as we pray for you guys um, as we take this first free 20 acres, uh, turn it into a rich pasture land, um, unbelievable. It's, it's, cattle have been on it for 45 years because they, they go from different pastures, different paddocks. And uh, this is just rich, rich farmland. And we are just beyond excited and beyond ready to work for Father's people. So anyway, guys, be blessed. We love you. Remember, it's the glory of Yah to conceal a matter. It's the honor of kings to search it out. Search him out. Ask him who he really is. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.